Hey guys, hope you and the families are doing well. Welcome to a bar by bar swing trading deliberate practice session. You're going to see 34 trades that have the net result of a compounded return on investment of turning one grand into 145 grand. Of the 34 trades, you're going to see 18 winning trades with an average gain of 39%. You're going to see 16 losing trades with an average loss of 5.5%. That puts the win rate at 52% and a reward to risk ratio of 7 to 1. Now, I believe there are four main parts to really focus on improving in your trading, which is going to be number one, how do you identify a high quality setup number two how do you initially control the risk to create asymmetric risk versus reward trading opportunities and you can think about your initial stop loss percentage relative to the stock's average daily range percentage talk about that in the video number three is going to be how do you mitigate the risk how do you free roll the trades and then number four is how do you optimize the profits what are the selling rules selling guidelines that you are using to help capitalize on large trends for me i'm an intermediate term trend follower so i'm trying to ride those intermediate term trends using certain moving averages 10 day ema 21 day ema as i'm going to be be showing you in the video so i really hope you like this video it's bar by bar on bitcoin it's a good financial instrument to be practicing on nice high a nice high adr as well so you can get used to trading some quicker financial instruments and it relates to trading quicker stocks as well market smith are today's video sponsor if you're interested in a, a discounted trial then there is a link in the comment section below Okay, guys, we've got trading view at load up. First thing we need to do is zoom right in on your chart like this and then select the ticker of interest. In this instance, here is going to be BTC USD like this. Hold Alt G and then we want to go back in time. We'll just set this to the year 2000 like that. That'll take us to where the initial public offering, initial coin offering, whatever you call it for a cryptocurrency. So that's going to be back in August 2011. We're going to go bar by bar replay function like this. Now, Bitcoin at the beginning of this video is going to be very, very illiquid. And then what I'm going to start doing is just working through bar by bar. And there are certain setups that are I am looking for. I am looking for optimal chart patterns to be forming. So that's cup and handles, flags, Darvis boxes, pennants, wedges, VCPs, sending to whatever you want to call them. Okay, those popular chart patterns. And then I'm also looking for certain candlesticks to form around key moving averages. I'll explain those in a little bit, but it's going to be what I call trigger bars, which are often low volume tight inside bars, and then gap down reversal bars and shakeout demand tails. So I want an optimal basing pattern, and then I want to see a specific candlestick around certain moving averages so the three moving averages you see on your charts already is going to be black line is the 10 day ema the blue line is the 21 day ema the purple line is the 50 day simple moving average so let's keep going here it's so obviously in a downtrend it's a little bit of liquid and stuff like that so i don't really this is quite nice in here how it kind of tightened that there's actually a really nice trigger bar uh, and i just missed that one by going too fast okay really nice tight inside bar clustering at the 10 21 and the 50 you can't get a paper cut between them look how the volume dries up that just indicates there's very little supply coming to the market so this is not going to be a video on how to trade stocks in five minutes my videos are not like that they're very thorough they are in the weeds so by the end of this video hopefully you have a really good idea that there is a gap down reversal bar by the way i'll explain those as we go a little bit later on so you've seen a trigger bar you've seen a gap down reverse bar we'll explain those as we go but by the end of this video hopefully you have a really good idea of how do you identify high quality setups how do you go about controlling the risk create asymmetric risk versus reward trading opportunities how do you mitigate the risk so you free roll the trade you take the risk out and then how do you go about optimizing the profits how do you ride those large trends and this one here is looking interesting this is also a gap down reverse bar in the vicinity of the 21 day ema i quite like that if you zoom out as well it's feeling like a bit of a cup and handle there's the cup there's the handle look how the volume is then drying up okay that's interesting it's obviously very liquid here but it's the same thing from a supply and demand perspective so let me target that one so I'm going to use the fib retracement tool. You get that from here. So select fib retracement tool. You put a star, it'll put it in a favorites bar. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down control and then I'm going to snap to the high and snap to the low. I'll just show you the settings that I use for it as well. So zero, if you type zero in, that's going to be the stop loss level, which I snap to the low of the bar. One is going to be the entry price, which I snap to the high of the bar. And then if you select enter two, that's going to be one times the initial stop loss or new stop loss if you move it up. And three is going to be two times the initial stop loss. So what I'm going to be looking to do is free roll by selling one third of the position at two times the initial stop loss okay one third of the position at two times the initial stop loss so the green line which in this instance here is going to be nine dollars so we're going to target it through there our initial stop loss is going to be uh is going to be fairly wide again this is going to be pretty volatile at the beginning here for bitcoin uh 12 percent i think that's kind of pushing it we'll round it up to 13 percent now i do want to stress the adr point as we're going as well but let's just let's just start doing this oh and it didn't even fill after all that it didn't even fill so i'm using hypothetical buy stop limit orders i want to see it move through the high of the prior candlestick okay that is how i use i use buy stop limit orders and attach stop losses to them but let's see if it can hold around the 21 okay so it kind of comes down check out okay not bad another gap down reversal bar okay now you get a really nice see this really nice little tight bar it's a little bit volatile but this for me is kind of trigger bar so i'd be there i'd be there like that 
targeting it through the high, trying to free roll at about $8. Okay, let's target that. This is going to be a much tighter stop loss, around about 6%, off an ADR of 10%. So I am going to stress the importance of looking for higher ADRs, okay? So I know we're doing Bitcoin here, but I really want to stress the point of then looking for higher ADR percentage stocks. If you want to know what ADR I use here, go into the indicators, type in ADR percentage. It's the one by Arma Schluckler. Okay, higher ADR means it's going to move quicker. The average S&P 500 is going to be around about, around about a percent. It's 20-day average daily range percentage, excluding gap. And the triple Q is going to be around about one and a quarter percent. Ideally, I want to be looking for stocks that are two times, three times, four times and greater versus the major indexes. Let's target this one here. Let's see what happens. Okay, this one here, gap down reversal bar. Uh, so it didn't trigger because it didn't move through the high, but what I'm going to do is actually just target it right there. This is a gap down reversal bar. So a gap down reversal bar is the prior closes here. It gaps down, it opens on the low of the bar, bounces off the 21 and closes strong. Like it. It's a good, good candlestick to see. <clears throat> target this one here. I don't know whether that, that would have kind of opened there and shaken us up. So our first trade is going to be a losing trade and then we get the shake out demand tap. So I may be targeting it uh, after that, but we'll round this losing this first trade up to 8%. And so we're not off to a great start, are we? That for me is going to be a breakout. So we're going to go over here. These figures will start making sense as we go. We're going to type in BTC. We've got a loss of 8%. We're going to start off with 1,000 and see where we get to by the end of this. So then we're going to go 0 0.92 and enter that there. So we're off to a losing start. Oh, no. But such is uh, such is trading. So here we go. We can put this in like this. We can put this in like this. As I said, that's now quite a nice shakeout demand tail. Um, so I may actually just be retargeting it in the very next session. Like that, like that, through the high there. Quite like how this base is forming. The RS line is good. Yeah, I'd be targeting it right there through the high of that bar. Let's see if we can get something going. Okay, it doesn't trigger, it doesn't move through the high, but we get another shakeout demand tail. I like it. I'd be there, there, like that. I think this is all constructive price action. I like this gap down reversal bar. So remember, the prior closes here, it gaps down, opens here, shakes out all the lows here. Potential stop loss is not that Bitcoin was very widely traded here, but it's the same principle. And then you get this nice little shakeout demand tail around the 21 day EMA. Like it. Let's see if we can get it going. And it's not really moved through the high, so I don't think we're going to be filled there, but I'd be retargeting it on this session right here. Just want to see it kind of move through the high. This time it did move through the high. It didn't go underneath the low, so we'd still have an active position here. Oh, and we're stopped out here. So again, we're off to two losing trades to begin with. Oh, no. Here we go. So 9% loss. So this is going to be, I'd say it's more of a breakout. So we go 1, we go BTC, uh, loss of 9%, and 0 dot. 91 like this and then we'll just make that black like that so then we know so the purple ones are just so the spreadsheet starts uh, starts working we'll keep playing it forward okay gap down reverse bar underneath the 50 day <clears throat> let's see if we can get something where it kind of sets up quite nicely okay below the 50 day i'm not going to have any interest when the when it's below the 50 day moving average okay in a downtrend and downtrend so again we're not tying our capital up yeah sure a little bit annoying to have two losses to begin with it is what it is but then we're not tying our capital up and sitting through all of this we don't want to be doing that let's zoom in this is looking a little bit more constructive starting to get above the moving averages okay shake out demand tail interesting the adr has gone way down now to around about a percent i prefer it when it's much much higher that is quite a nice shake out demand tail mm there there stop loss what we're going to be looking at stop loss of about four percent if we round it up i think i'll probably target through the high of that shake out demand tail there okay so we're entered so our free roll level is going to be up here okay so that's going to be our free roll target there we go so we're able to free roll the position so we take one third off at two times the initial stop loss for the purpose of this and now we're trying to ride the black and the blue line okay that is what we're trying to do so closes below the black and the blue line is where we're going to be exiting the position so it's still trending up pretty constructively first close below the black line but it is a shakeout demand i would take off a third there if it resets we can always buy it back okay so this is the point we're trying to get the big trades right okay recovers that's good big shakeout demand tail okay starting to tighten quite constructively here um maybe one more kind of tight bar or something okay let's see what happens bounce off the 21 we like that so we've still got this position live we haven't closed below the blue line the 21 so again it's working through the process of con identify control mitigate and optimize i now like this shakeout demand tail look how the volume is drying up the rs is good this is kind of like a flag type panel so i'd enter a new position right here targeting it through the high of that bar there okay we get filled so that's going to be our entry we're looking for a move to the green line so now we free rolled it so we've got two trades live one's got one third left the other has got two thirds left hopefully you're staying with me so now we're just looking for closes below the black and the blue line we're not overthinking it black and blue line it's still kind of looking pretty constructive building another base if this can kind of tighten up maybe we'll be looking to add to a position potentially it was targetable there that that wasn't too bad but again stock well it's stock bitcoin is in a nice uptrend here it's the same principle if it's a stock look at the adr nice high six and a half percent like that 
okay, and a good uptrend. Okay, a lot of volatility here. So that's then going to be a close below the black line. So now what we have is we have two positions live, each with a third left. Why? Because each of them had one close below their 10 day EMA. But now we're looking for a close below the blue line, extremely volatile. Um, would I have let it come all the way back down here? Probably not. My stop loss would have been here. But for the purposes, we'll say we get we exit right on the low there. Let's be harder on ourselves. So let's just go back to the first trade. Okay. So what we had for the first trade is we had our initial stop loss of 3.3%, so we'll call it 6% to free roll the trade. So we've got 6% and then we took a third off here. So we've got 6, we've got 22, and then at the close of that bar there, 6, 22, 57. So now what we do is we go 6, 22, 57 like that. For me, that was more of a, what type of, I'd say that was more of a breakout. It's like a mid low pivot. So what we do is we go over here, we go BTC, and then we just take that average, which would be 28.33%. And then we'll just make that black like this so then it all makes uh it all makes sense why is that not doing it as um percentages hopefully it does it as percentage 28.33 okay like that and so then we go over here and we go um 1.28 to enter that there we can now make that black and if you want to use the spreadsheet then it is available to you in the uh in the comments or the description wherever i decide to uh, put it so now what we can do is enter this like this Okay, and off we go. So, okay, good trade there. Now we just need to go and add the other winning trade. So we're going to have 50% win rate so far. Again, win rate is not as important as healthy risk versus reward and getting big trades right. So our second trade, okay, we took it here. So again, around about 3% stop loss. So we're free rolling it at 6%. And then what we did is we exited one third here on the first close below the black line. So that's 74%. So we've got 67422. So we go here, we go 6 uh, 74 and then 22 uh, that was what type of i would say yeah and it's not a breakout trade so what we do is we go over here we go one btc and then we take the average of 34 like that and then what we do is 1.34 and then we just have to remember not you but me i just have to remember to update like like that okay so this is all the concept okay if you're going to have losing trades but we really want to control our losing trades relative to where we're targeting achieving our average gain so let's keep going with bitcoin now could i've managed that one better yeah probably have like a trailing stock up here something something like this and when you start getting this change of character action okay i'm gonna definitely have my stop loss say here or maybe it's up there but we're gonna be harder on ourselves okay so we exit at the uh, at the close down there so let's keep going with bitcoin so okay starts recovering mm, okay you got the black the blue and the purple line so 10 day 21 day and 50 day not a bad little shake out demand tail there um Hmm, interesting. So shakeout demand tail undercuts these lows as well. So something with these shakeout demand tails, see how the low undercuts a lot of these previous lows after, say, the last two weeks or something like that. What do you notice about the volume? There's not much volume. Tells me there's not much supply. One of the issues here is look at all of this going on. It makes it a little bit harder to kind of target it there. I feel that's kind of like forcing it a little bit. Okay, base is getting a little bit bigger. This is looking a bit better. Okay, because now you start to build the higher lows, contracting. Look how tight the last three bars are. Certainly, the last bar, the volume dries up. That's a trigger bar. So, this is a shakeout to Marto where price goes there, shakes out weak hands, and then this here, tight little trigger bar. So, FIB retracement tool, whacking on that like that. We can enlarge the chart like this for the purpose of this trade here. So, targeting it through the high there. Let's see if it goes. Um, it kind of gaps down. So, it gaps down so i don't know what would happen there whether it gapped down went down and then came up and filled the order or what it did there so i don't know i'll tell you what will be harder we'll say i would have been in and stopped there so two percent loss and we'll, we'll go put that in as a uh, two percent loss but i don't know what um would have happened there if it gapped down and then turned around and went but we'll be harder on ourselves uh so we go here we go here and then we just update this one to 18 like that but again we're just trying to keep it nice and tight and if we get knocked out we want to get knocked out quickly and we want it to be a small loss nice shake out to mantel i'd be targeting that so through the high okay we're filled we're looking for a move to the green line there we go so entry here shake out to mantel 10 21 and 50 in proximity like it so that there is our free roll level so now we're just trying to ride you got it the black and the blue line we don't need to over complicate it so closes below the black or the blue line that's where I'm going to be exiting. It's kind of closing on it right there. Um, there does close below multiple red bars. I would just take a third of the position off. So we've got one third left. We're going to be riding the blue line. That's a nice reversal candlestick. Mm, that, that is quite a good reversal. And that's then quite a good shake out demand. This is starting to look constructive, potentially to be um, to be adding back. I think I'll kind of hang. Oh, that's a really nice trigger bar. So what I do is I'd be targeting it through the high there. I know this is getting a little bit small because how the moving averages are, but shake out the Martel trigger bar, volume dries up. I'd be targeting it through there. It doesn't get filled because it doesn't move through. That's then a really another tight bar. I'd be targeting that again. And again, it doesn't move through the high there. So I'd now be 
cancelling that one see how it didn't move through the high of that bar it's going to move through the high of the bar no close below the blue line being the 21 yet Okay, starting to move out can you start to see the strong signs of constructive price action so this is why bar by bar deliberate practice is really really important what do you what are you seeing before the stock starts breaking out what are you seeing now you're seeing these shakeout demand tells you're seeing volume drive you're seeing tightness in price and see it in here as well okay these are the things to be looking for stocks and cryptocurrencies i know we're doing cryptos to emphasize the adr point as we get a little bit further on trading things quicker quicker than the market is important but they tend to display repeatable signs or repeatable characteristics of what they do before they break out from these bases that there would be the exit for me change of character slice through the 21 so our initial stop loss was say six percent so we're free rolling at 12 percent so we've got 12 percent and then we've got six six basically so 12 six six 12 six six that's going to put us around eight percent uh for me what type of entry is that it's like a mid pivot so i'd still list it as a uh, breakout so one btc and then eight percent okay not a not a huge trade that's absolutely fine the 80 20 principle is going to be very applicable here in terms of 80% of the profits are likely going to come from 20% of the trades. It's still about the 50 day, so let's see if it can uh, kind of tighten up and reset. Okay, it's kind of tightening here. Maybe get like a nice entry bar. It's getting really tight there as it pulls down. Look how the volume's falling away. I'm just waiting for a, for a better looking candlestick for the entry. There we go. Nice shake out demand tail. I'd be targeting that through there. Shake out there, shake out there, low volume. Yeah, I like it. This bit more of like a pullback bar. Uh, it's not move through the high i would still be targeting it through the high of that bar back to back shake out demand tails i think i'd still be targeting that and i'd probably tighten up the stop loss to there like that so we want to see it move through the high of that bar okay let's see if it can do it it's still not still not move through the high see that we want to see it move through the high that would then trigger a buy stop limit order let's keep playing it forward we'll zoom it in like this for a little bit okay falling away here we want to see it get back above all three of those key moving averages being the black, the blue, and the purple being the 10, 21, and the 50. Okay, it's starting to get there. It's looking a little bit better. Yeah, looking a little bit better. Sizable base here as well. Let's see. Okay, this is now setting up quite nicely, like second half of this base, looking at this as a potential cup handle, a little bit of a Darvis box action going on here. Shake out a Montel. I quite like it. I'd target it there and there. Okay, we get filled. Can we free roll? I think we can free roll at that bar there we can certainly free roll at that bar there it gets this little supply chute that moves through it's okay we've got another trade that's live let's see so we're using the black and the blue line now okay starting to get out the volumes coming through 52 week high versus the s p that's good it's building again kind of like a little pivot in here interesting maybe we can be adding to the position let's just see if it tightens up okay that does close below the black line doesn't do it overly aggressively but it goes out on the lows the volume is low don't don't really like that bar um supply shoot red bar weak close i know the volume's not massive i'd just take a third off there if it resets i'll buy it back uh nice shake out demand tail underneath and it undercuts these lows see how the lower the shake out demand tail undercuts a lot of these lows it's really really constructive when when that happens um why because you're just stopping all, all of the weak hands you're placing their stop losses underneath the low of this little kind of contraction underneath say the 10 day shake them all out we like that um would like to see maybe like a green bar instead of a red bar. This is then quite a nice bar. I quite like that. Not great bar. The one before. Mm, would I target that? I think I would target that through the high. Like it. Shake out the Montel goes out on the high. Let's see if we can get something going. So we do get filled. And then I think we're probably going to get stopped out of this one. Um, not quite stopped out. It's in a really tight bar. So we want to see it go below the low of that bar. It's not done that yet. That's it. If I didn't have a position here, I'd be entering a position there, I think. It's still really tight really tight okay we are knocked out there so we're going to have a losing trade on that one there but we're still active with this trade over here that's going to be a three percent loss so you go here for me that's more of a breakout btc three percent loss going into it like this 0 0.97 and then we just want to update this one by one to 20 like that okay that's all working as it should now what i might do because i really like that, that i think that's pretty constructive pulling back down shake out to Marto again undercuts a lot of these a lot of these lows i'd be targeting another position there we still have a third of this position left as well so let's do that so we do get filled there not overly explosive on that kind of breakout let's see if it can go it's tightening really nicely this feels like it wants to go this tightness and price i get shaken out again still no close below the um 21 day email so we still have a third but we get knocked out there again okay three percent that's still kind of like a uh, more of a breakout than a pullback uh, for me. 3% again, 0.97. This is going to happen. 
again, it's good for training your emotions as uh, as well. Obviously, you don't have the emotional connection when you're doing this bar by bar deliberate practice of actually having money on the um, on the position. Of course, not the same as like F1 drivers practicing in the uh, in the simulators. It's deliberate practice, it's trying to get better at specific areas of your trading. I then really like that shakeout demand tail. Um, I'd be tempted to retarget it again with that shakeout demand tail. Mm. I think I probably would try again see if I can get position I feel like this wants to go high look how it's tightening RS line looks pretty good I'd be trying it again okay it doesn't move through the high there so we're not filled now that's the first close below the 21 day EMA but how does it close below the 21 well it's a tight inside bar on low volume I'll take it off that um, I think it's probably going to play some games around around the 50 so our initial stop loss is 2.8% uh, so five, we'll say five percent to free roll. So we've got five, thirteen, and twelve. So we go here. We get five, thirteen, and twelve. And for me, that's just a breakout. So then we go over here. We go one. We go BTC, and an average gain there of ten percent. So then we go one dot one like that, and then adjust this up to twenty-two percent. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Let's now delete those. Better looking bar, and I'll be thinking about targeting this. Okay, it's getting close. I like that shakeout demand tail off the 50 as well. I'd be there, I'd be there like that and targeting it. Doesn't move through, but I'd still be targeting it like I've set that up there. Still doesn't move through, but I'd be looking to target it through the high of the bar. I'd probably keep my stop loss here. There's Bitcoin's been a little bit kind of whippy, so I'll give it a little bit more room. Okay, we get filled right there as it moves through the high. So what I'm gonna do is that is our entry there. So we're looking for a move to the green line. Okay, good, we've been able to free roll it. So again, what did you see before Bitcoin started coming out of this base? What are the repeatable characteristics? What are you training your eyes to? What do you notice? What does your pattern recognition say? So let's keep playing it forward. So now we're just looking for closes below the black and the blue lines, basically. So good trend here. We're not messing around with like, oh, stop losses, stop losses. These videos would be extremely long, but I'd be trailing up stop losses behind. Uh, for me, there's some like nice constructive, what I'd call trigger bars in here, in here, but the base duration is um, somewhat questionable. Okay, it's going, it's going, it's going. Okay, still no close below the black or the blue line, so we just keep going. Okay, this base duration is now getting a bit bigger. Nice flag, look how the volume is really drying up. Uh, really, really, really like this, uh, really like this. I would probably be targeting through the high there, Stop loss maybe say underneath the 10. What's that going to put us in terms of stop loss? 7% off an ADR of 9.4. So again, why is Bitcoin able to go from here to here? It's because it's got a 9.4% ADR. Like this is the point of trading quicker stocks, trading quicker financial insurance. I'd be targeting it. So through the high of this final bar here, so I'd be like this, through the high, stop just there, say underneath the 10 day, which is about 7% stop, okay? So we do get filled on that bar there. So we get filled, we've got our stop loss here. So this is then entering a new position. Can we free roll it? We can free roll it. So are you starting to notice? So that's our entry there. Are you starting to notice this? It's really constructive. Tightness in price, tightness in price, tightness in price, tightness in price. Helps create more asymmetric risk accessible traits. So the identify control, the risk mitigation, everything kind of feeds into each other. And then the optimizing profits, we're trying to ride some big trends. So we've now got two open positions, each with two thirds, because we haven't had a close below the black line yet, being the 10 day EMA. So let's keep playing this forward. Uh, that there is a wild change character bar like that there's wild I would take off a third of the position for both like that's a wild change character bar so for me right there I would take off a third of the position don't like that blue line there well that was the entry there I would take off a third of the position for both we've got one third left there that's the trade um, exit basically so let's go and do this one here so our initial stop loss on the position was, let me drag it down, I think we said it was about 7%. So it's 14% to free roll, so we've got 14, 244, and then 14, 244, 77. So 14, 244, and then was it 77 that we said? 77, okay. And that would have been a higher base breakout. So again, this is the point here, you'll see it as we go, the 80-20 principle. 80% 80 of the profits are probably going to go come from 20% of the trade. So what we do is go one 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 like that. Now we can go and enter this one here. So it would be 100% um, gain. So it would be 2.1 like that is what we want to enter. And then we go and update this one to 23. And then we've got this other trade to go and enter as well. So we can delete that, delete that. So from our other position, again, this is all about getting the big ones right. How often do these trades come along? Not that often. So for me, really, really, really important to be nailing those. So our initial stop loss was 3%. So we're free rolling it at 6%. Then we need to go and drag this up here like this so we had six percent uh 1123 percent and then five two seven 
So what we do is we go six, 1,100%, and then the other one was about 500%, okay? And that's gonna be a base breakout one, BTC, and you may be saying, oh, it's completely unrealistic to have, but 100%, yeah, I completely agree. It's just for a YouTube video to help illustrate the point, okay? 535 like this, and then what we do is we go over here, and then that would be uh, 6.3, like that. Okay, good, we're off to, a, uh, off to a decent start. Let's keep going again. What I'd now be expecting is quite a large drawdown because look look what it's doing. It's extremely climactic in nature. Look what happened previously when we saw this climactic move. Okay, I'd now expect a large base building period for um for Bitcoin. So let's see what happens. Play it forward. Nice shake out of demand tails. Maybe it can kind of tighten back up. Okay, it's kind of pulling down. Uh, it's starting to get quite tight. A little bit of a better bar there. We could be targeting it. Again, I'm expecting that decent size base. It's now starting to get really tight in here. Volume is drying up. It's somewhat of then, see how it's building higher low to there, higher low to there, tightness in price. A little bit of a better candlestick for an entry bar. And yeah, I could be, uh, could be looking at this. Mm, it's not bad, it's getting there. Yeah, I quite like that. Look at the tightness in price, shake out the Marto. Look how the volume dries up. Yeah, I'd be um, targeting that through there like that. Blair forward. Uh, does it move through the high of the bar? So the high there is 118. So yeah, it does move through the high. So we get stopped out there. For me, that'd be a breakout. We'll round it up to 4%. So we go over here, we go Bitcoin, one Bitcoin, 4%. And that would be 0 0.96 like that. I think I entered that one right, the 6.3. I think I did because it would be 500%. So yeah, I think um, I think it would. I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments if I, uh, if I did that wrong. So here we go, 25 like that. Okay, let's keep going. It's, yeah, uh, it's... Volatile there, volatile there. I thought it was tightening. Don't like how it rolled over. Let's see if it can get, kind of get higher up in this base. And then maybe look a uh, look a little bit more um, interesting. Okay, bit of demand coming in, kind of pulling that down. This is better action. Okay, it's starting to build those high lows. You get one contraction, two contraction, three contraction. Starting to tighten, looking for a bit of a better candlestick in this area. That's a nice bar, nice tight inside bar. Keep the wrist nice and tight. I'd be targeting it there and there like that. Let's see if it wants to move through. Does it move through the high of the bar? We want it to see it go through 129. It doesn't go through 129, so it won't be triggered. So that is why I like using buy stop limit orders. It needs to move through the uh, through the high. It's not looking too good. It's all looking a bit volatile. So for me, I would associate accumulation absorption with supply, with tightness in price and distribution, with high levels of volatility and sporadic spikes in the volume as well. So not looking too good there. Looks a bit more like a phase three topping base to me. Just want to see it get back above the moving averages. Decent size base, so a lot of causality. Okay, back above, bit of volume coming through. Can it go build? A little optimal chart pattern. This is good. Can we now get a continuation base? So flag, wedge, Darvis box, VCP, whatever you want to call it. So building a decent size base here. Little cup and handle here at the minute. Look how the volume's drying up. Want a little bit of a better final candlestick. Good ADR, 5.5%. That's starting to tighten. Um, yeah, it's getting there. Doesn't feel quite right yet. Mm, okay, that's now a bit of a better. Yeah, I quite like that. There, there. What would our stop be off that ADR? Yeah, tight stop, three percent off an ADR of five, five point three percent. Like it. Uh, doesn't move through the high. The high of that bar is one twenty eight. So we need to move through the high of the bar. It doesn't do that. So we remove that there. Maybe we get a shakeout around the twenty one. A uh, really tight bar around the twenty one. I like that there. Look how the volume dries up. Yeah, I'd be um, targeting that there. Yeah, really tight. I'd keep that order entry in. Um, does it move through the high of 124? It's not moved through the high of 124, so we just cancel the order. But this is looking, yeah, I'd be targeting that there still. This is looking pretty constructive. Okay, we get filled on that bar there. Can it get to the green line for us to free roll? It can get to the green line. Good, we free roll in there. So now it's basically black and the blue line. Uh, and we get knocked out there. That is why you use a stop loss. If you just wait to the end of the session, you would have a really big losing trade there. So because we have free rolled the trade by taking one third of the position off when we get stopped here at two times, there may have been some slippage and and stuff like that. Yeah, I absolutely um, get that. We don't want to go too in the weeds with these videos, but that there, break even trade. Okay, that's kind of the purpose of, okay, free roll it by taking off a half or a third. So half at one times a stop loss or new stop loss if you want to move it up like that, or one third at two times a stop loss like we're doing here with the green line uh, and then knocked out the remaining two thirds a break even that for me is that's still kind of a breakout but it's a low pivot so what i do here is we go hit a one and then we just put btc in like that i think it's good to track track the uh, break even trades 
um, I think it's uh, I think it's important. So there's a metric that I track in my uh, in trading in, in these bar by bar sessions as well. Uh, so really volatile. Then it comes back. Okay, nice powerful uptrend. We like that. Can it go and build a continuation base? Looking for it to tighten. Oh, it does start tightening. Um, oh, that's looking pretty good. Maybe one more bar because it's kind of red bar opens on the high. I'll give it. Oh, that's now looking better. Yeah, there. I'd be targeting it there. I'd just keep it nice tight stop. Just see if it wants to kind of move quickly through that level. It does. Great. Nice. So this here is more of like a flag type pattern. So there's the top. There's that bit there. So it's like a flagpole, right? The volume dries up. Take a deep boot. Okay, good. So we've been able to free roll the trade there. Two times our initial stop loss. So now what are we doing? Black and the blue line. We're just trying to ride the intermediate term trend for however far the intermediate term trend wants to go. So black and the blue line, basically. Unless we see a drastic change of character, as you saw previously. That there would be the exit for both of them. Um, for me, change character opens on the high, goes on that out on the low, volume pops through the 21, exit, nice and simple. No reason to overcomplicate. Our initial stock is 2%, so we're free rolling it at 4%, and then we're taking off the two thirds of the position on a close right there. And again, look at the ADR percentage 23%. Why is Bitcoin able to go up nearly 300? Look at the ADR. This is the point about focusing on the higher ADR, the quicker stocks, so much better to be and financial instruments, Bitcoin, crypto, whatever it may be. Okay, high ADR is good, 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 good. So 294. So we had 4% and then 294. So we go here, we go 4, 294, and then 294 like that. That for me is going to be a breakout. So we go here, we go Bitcoin, we go 1, 2, 3 like this, and then 197. Uh, so that's going to be uh, 2.97, I think, is how we uh, get that. Mass was never my real strong point with being dyslexic. So there we go. Okay, we'll keep going with um, Bitcoin. Okay, pulls back in. Hold, held above the 50, now it's starting to tighten. Can it get a little bit of a better bar? I quite like that bar, a little shake out to Manto, undercut the lows, yeah, not bad, I'd probably target that there. So through the high, it never moved, did it move through the high? And the high of the bar was 864. So you see how it never moves through the high of the bar? So it never gets filled, that's why I use buy stop limit orders, I prefer using them. Okay, can it kind of hold around the 50, get back above it? It does, but not overly convincingly. Now it's starting to create like this little Darvis box esque in there. The volume is drying up. Yeah, it's pretty tight, isn't it? Um, through the high, I'd probably put the stop down there if the risk makes sense. There to there, ten percent off a sixteen percent ADR. That's, yeah, I think I'd probably be looking at it like that. Okay, we get filled. Can we free roll it? Good, we can free roll it. See the tightness and price that came through before Bitcoin started moving out. Um, well, for me, change character. I'd exit. I'd exit the remaining parts of the position there. Don't like it. So our initial stop loss was, as we said, our initial stop loss was 10%. Uh, so we're free rolling at 20% for one third. And then we take off two thirds at 4% each. So we've got 20 and then 4, 4. So 20, 4, 4 like this. And that's going to be a breakout trade. So we go 1, we go BTC like this. And then we go 9% uh, like that. And then that will be 1.09. And then we can move this up like this, 27. Okay, let's keep going with... Bitcoin, okay, good bar. After that bearish bar, the fact that you get an, an absorption candlestick is good. I'd like to see a little bit more before I start targeting anything. A little shake out may be good. Okay, starting to tighten up again. Sitting on the 1021 and the 50, I like it. I'd be there. Uh, stop loss maybe underneath the lower of those three bars. That's how I'd be thinking about it. Let me just get the tool there to there. Yeah, 8% off an ADR of 8%. Yeah, it's okay. Kind of tightening there. Decent sized base. Got. A Bit of a kind of cup and a handle-ish feel to it. The volume's dried up over the last five, six bars. Yeah, I think I'd be targeting it there. Okay, does it move through the high of no high of the bar is eight to four seven. If you look at here, that's where you're gonna get eight uh, eight eight four nine, sorry. Um so yeah, I'd, I'd cancel the order there. May reactivate it if we get a better candlestick. Nice tight bar. Um feel like momentum is a little bit to the downside. Like I, I'd want to see it put in a higher high here. So let's just see. If it can do that, look, I want to see a bit of strength coming through because at the minute, as I look at it, I'm like, okay, distribution, distribution, distribute. Like, there's no, there's no obvious sign of there, like powerful bar back to the upside. So yes, this is this is getting really tight in here. Nah, I just don't. Just doesn't look quite right to me um, right now. Just yeah, just don't look quite right. I want to see like powerful move back up and then potentially a pullback in it and it resets. Um, so no interest down here, below the long term moving averages, below the 200, no interest, no interest, no interest. We want to see it in a nice powerful uptrend. 
Yeah, no interest, no interest, no interest. I just want to trade it when it's above the longer term, basically above all the moving averages. So it's still below, so we've now just avoided all of this, basically, by just avoiding it when it's below its 200-day moving average. Nothing overly complicated about it. Still below the 200. Okay, a bit better now. Now we're getting back above it. Let's see if we can go and find a setup. Okay, good demand. So see how it's now powerful uptrend, pulls back down. And now the difference here to what I was saying in that previous base, look at this bar here, okay? So it's pulling back down and then demand to the upside. Look at the pop in the volume as well. Okay, it's nice respecting the moving averages. I'd like to see it holding around the 21. So now if it can pull back down, put in a higher low, as it is doing here, can we get the right candlestick? Check out demand tail, low volume. It's not great having four down bars like this in a row. The ADR is a little bit slower. It's kind of pulling back into this area where it bounced previously. I'll take this one because I can kind of look through all it underneath base highs. Uh, we're going to get stopped on it. Yeah, stop that. It wasn't a great one. These four down bars in a row, I forced that trade. Um, Three percent. So again, we're keeping the risk pretty tight. That for me is going to be a pullback. So we go one, we go BTC, and the loss there was two and a quarter percent. We'll round it up to um, three percent, and we'll just now turn this from purple to black because now it should start just having our data in it so 0 0.97 and then we just go and update this again when i get stopped out i want it to be a small loss in relative proportion to where i'm targeting achieving my average gain and i want it to basically happen on the same day or in a matter of days so i'm not unnecessarily tying up capital one of the things that these bar by bar sessions will do will just it you'll feel really silly right if you if you took that trade uh again the fall down that was a bad trade okay um if you took it there and now you're just holding it down here and you're doing it in the say a bar by bar deliberate practice session again it's designed to feed back in to decision making in, in the actual trading right if you're just now holding this down all the way down here you're just going to feel really silly right because there's, there's no emotions associated with it so yes these bar by bar you don't have the emotion of i've got money on here blah, 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 all of this stuff going on right but it's teaching you to well if you just hold this all the way you're just hoping and praying like you just, I hope it will come back. I hope it will come back. I hope it will come back. As Jesse Livermore said, when you hope, you want to fear. When you fear, you want to hope. Our natural human instincts when trading are often wrong. You got to train yourself to do the to do the opposite. Be hopeful that your game will turn into a very big gain, and be fearful that your small loss will turn into a very big loss. So get rid of the small loss while there's still a small loss. But you'll just feel really silly if you're going buy by buy and you're holding it down. And you're like, why on earth am I doing that? Well, again, it then applies to your own trading. Why on earth are you doing it? Like, why are you doing it? So again, I appreciate there's no kind of money associated, but it's all about training yourself to make good decisions, to get better at your training, treat your trading like a skill set. Specifically, you can prove in four main areas, identify, control, mitigate, and optimize. I'm constantly, every day, trying to improve. So this is better, right? Nice powerful uptrend, good volume coming through, not a great kind of doji supply shoot, and that changed character, but let's see if it can kind of set back up. So we want to see tightness and price. Yeah, okay, nice bullish bar. So we pull back in, look at the tightness that starts to come through. Tightness in price, low relative volume, falling volume says, okay, there's not too much supply then. Look at this bar coming through here. Pop back up, makes a higher high. Look at the volume as well. Okay, this is good. Can it now kind of either tighten into a pivot or pull back down, gap down reverse bar, shake out demand tail S. This is quite nice tight action. The volume dries up. I quite like that there. I'd be there, there. What would that stop be? Yeah, about 3%. Keep it nice and tight. So see if it can move through, through roll underneath these local highs in the base. There we go. Entry like that, okay? Don't know why I did the sound effect. But see this? Shake out demand tail, tightness and price. The volume dries up. See how we got that demand moving in? Okay, pulls back, tightens up. There's lessening supply coming here. We'd see it with the volume. Then you get this change of character bar. Boom, pushes back up. And then it goes and puts in this structural high low. Then it gets tight. Okay, it's all intertwined. These are all the things you'll train yourself to start spotting and then it's about now okay we've worked through the process we've identified it we controlled it we created that asymmetric risk versus reward trade we mitigated the risk we took we took the risk out of the trade effectively we're now free rolled it yeah you can get gapped out so much all i appreciate that okay but these videos are just to emphasize the point of identify control mitigate and optimize and preferably do it on quicker stocks quicker financial instruments and then it's about the optimizing profits not overthinking it for me intermediate term trend follower i'm using the black and the blue line okay so that will be the first close below the 10 day EMA, if it's more prudent to use, say, the 50 day moving average on certain stocks, maybe they're a little, little bit slower. Yeah, I'll potentially be thinking about that. Um, but Bitcoin, I wouldn't be using black and the blue like that. Change of character, right? So now you're starting to identify, in terms of the optimizing profits, the change of character bars, the bars that signal ah, it's potential change of character going on, like here. Like when we saw some of the really volatile candlesticks earlier on with Bitcoin, okay, when they got kind of all over the place, you're starting to spot that. You're starting to spot the change of character. So that then helps determine for me when I should be exiting the position, when I think the trend is ending. So 2% initial stop. So we're free rolling at 4%. So we've got 4, 21, 14. So 
4, 21, 14 like this. Uh, this is going to be, it's kind of like a low pivot, so I'd put it in the breakout column. Uh, 1, BTC, and then average gain there of 13%. So then we go 1.13. I like this, and we just update this one here like that. So, okay, what are we? We are uh, 16 trades in. Um, kind of okay in terms of the um, what's our win rate 58% uh, that's okay average gain 56% what's good though even on Bitcoin where it's so volatile in nature the average loss is sub 4% okay this is really key like controlling the risk versus reward I think it's really really important um, it would be a little bit less sorry because we're still counting Apple as a uh, as a trade to be closer to 50% apologies about that so, okay here we go let's go find another one um, maybe expecting a retest of the 50 but maybe it sets up there maybe it just strengthens um okay it's kind of starting to tighten i don't really like that bar there i'd play it forward i'd want to see a little bit more okay that's better okay so now we get this bar here change of character 52 week high versus the s p look at the volume coming through so now i'm more interested in, okay pull back by tighten up so now it's pulling back down a little shake out to my tail yeah maybe there there initial stop two percent would round up to three uh, percent adr's come down a little bit yeah, it's not bad. Kind of pops up, pulls back down. Twenty-one. I don't know. Something just made me go no. So I'm just gonna hang fire on um, that one. I don't know. Just wasn't feeling it. Um, I don't know. Just something said no, basically. So even in these ones, I don't. I don't want to be forcing trades that I don't think I would be um, taking. So if I get that kind of like gut feeling, I, I don't know. Um, this is looking better. Okay, one contraction. Check out demand tail starting to build higher lows. Okay, let's see if it can kind of set nicely. Check out demand tail tightness. Okay, that's looking quite interesting. Okay, quite like this. Look at the tightness and price there. I'd probably be there, there like that. Nice kind of trigger bar. Back to back inside bars. The volume dries up. Yeah, I'd be targeting that. So there we go, entry, and we'll probably free roll it on the first day. Um, we would have been able to free roll here, and then we're knocked out break even. That is a wild candlestick. But such is the nature of being able to free roll, right? Our target, our entry is here, it's then closes here, it gaps up, so we free roll it there, and then we got stopped out there. Would we have had a bit of slippage? Absolutely, we probably would have had a little bit of slippage there. Um, but for the purpose of this, we'll just say it's break even trade. As that would be a breakout for me, and then BTC. So okay, we've had two, two break even trades. And that was a uh, that is a shakeout of all demand that that there is a shakeout of all shakeout demand tails um but quite constructive right if it can now reset after those bars i mean wow look at that 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 is large operators doing their darndest to shake weak hands out my word that's um that's quite a nice trigger bar by the way coming through in there see that tight bar inside bar look at the volume test that down maybe it can kind of set here let's see um okay Shake out demand. The thing is, you get the shake out demand. It goes out on the high, but I don't like the bar. Two bars here and the volume pop. Don't like it. I think I'd wait. Yeah, just, yeah. You see, it, it happened earlier as well. Um, yeah, I just feel like Bitcoin needs that Okay, indica indication of strength and then it sets. Okay, that there. Look at the strength coming through. Look at the volume. Look at the positive price action. Good uptrend. 52 week highs versus the spies. I just missed a trade in there. Um, that's quite a nice flag. Okay, we'll see if it pulls back down and we get something. <clears throat> okay. Okay, nice bounce off the 50 there. Like that. Starting to tighten. Okay, like that. So nice shake out to Martel, starting to build these high lows, 1021, nice shake out to Martel, tight, tight, volume dries up. Yeah, quite like it. There, there, like that. Initial stop is going to be 2.5% off a 7% ADR, so 3% is less than half the ADR. Like that, nice high ADR as well. It's good, that's where I want to be playing. Did it move through the high? What's the high of that bar there? 678, so it doesn't move through the high of the prior day okay so it needs to move through the height of the prior day for me to be targeting a entry see if it can hold around the 50 currently doing that which is constructive tight bar okay high lows off the 50 so look there to there nice high low tightness and price volume join up nearly back to back inside bars i'd be targeting that there like that okay we get filled can we free roll it or are we going to get stopped i think we're going to get stopped yeah we get stopped um yeah, so in real life, 
what I'd probably be doing here, say on this bar here where Bitcoin starts getting out, what I'd probably do is raise my stop loss up. Watch, when I raise my stop loss up, see how those free roll targets come down. So I can raise my stop loss up to say underneath the low hit and then I take off one third there. So instead of coming out with a losing trade, I'm knocked out break even, right? That's active risk mitigation, okay? But that we are knocked out because I didn't do that. That's not what we're doing in this video. Uh, so we have a loss there. That's um, uh, it's kind of like a pull. No, it's still like a real low pivot. So a 3% loss on the um, breakout there. So one Bitcoin. I hope if I typed it in the right column. 3% loss like this. Okay, 0 0.97. And then we just go and update this one here to 30 like that. Okay. Delete all those. Maybe it kind of resets. It puts in a shakeout. Pop back up. And we can look to target it, but we want to see a clear indication of strength, not weakness, as we're currently seeing. So we want to see it above all the moving averages. So we just play it forward. We want to see a nice uptrend. Okay, it's a little bit better. Okay, good bar, good uptrend. Can it now build? Don't like that bar that shook out to the 21. It's a little bit choppy. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Tight, tight, pulling back in. The volume dries up. I quite like it goes out on the high of that bar there I'd be targeting that does it move through the high of the bar uh, it does move through the high of the bar by a dollar so I'd be um, stopped out there that's again nice tight risk control two percent again Bitcoin's ADR slowed down but we're still just keeping the risk control nice and tight that was maybe did I miss that maybe I missed that that was a nice shake out tomato underneath the 21 uh, but anyway two percent loss in the breakout column one BTC and then uh, two percent loss and then we go over here and we go 0 0.98. So I've had two losing trades in a row. I'm not going to despair about that. Here we go. So, okay, can it tighten around the 21? And that's pulling back in. It's getting really tight around the 21. Pretty much back to back inside bars. I'd be targeting that. Um, I don't know whether that would have opened and then gone down and up. Maybe we can go to the one hour chart. So, okay, so this one here would still be in the trade. So this is the one hour chart, right? So I'm targeting it through the high here and what does bitcoin do bitcoin goes down multiple shakeout demand tails and then moves through and triggers me there okay so we get filled there and our stop loss can still be down here but see how it doesn't move through and then does this so we'd still be on this bar here we'd still be in the position okay let me play it forward i don't know what's happened to the volume sometimes it does that it's really irritating okay good we can free roll the trade like that can it get out so now i'm just using the black and the blue line okay can it tighten Okay, it's good. I don't think it was really a setup there. It was kind of like wedging up a little bit. I don't know what's happened to our volume. Uh, black and blue line, black and blue line. Uh, that there would have been a change of character. We'll say that I missed that one. And the whole exit for me would be right there. So our initial stop loss was 2%. So we're free rolling at 4%. So we've got 4, 18, 18. So 4 is already in there, 18, uh, 18. And what would I say that is? I'm just going to pull it in as a, it's a little bit more of a pullback just so we can get rid of this Apple one in here as well. So we'll go BTC and then we'll go 13.33. And now we've got rid of all the kind of pre-filled data other than this one um, over here for Apple. But that, that's kind of uh, okay. So then we want to add here 1.13. And then we update this one. Again, as I said, this if you want to use this spreadsheet, it's in the description and it's probably going to be in the comment section as well. But hopefully now we're know, 45 minutes into the video, you're getting a good idea of, OK, how to identify setups, how to control the rule, the risk versus reward. Think about it relative to the ADR percentage type of entry candlesticks. This is starting to tighten um, quite nicely. Actually, uh, how to mitigate the risk, how to optimize the profits as well. And the best way for you to get better at this in your own trading is to not just be watching me to be to be, be doing it yourself, to be tracking your own results as um, as well. Again, if you wanted to improve at swimming, you wouldn't just watch a video on swimming. You wouldn't just, um, you know, you wouldn't just watch a video on swimming or watch a YouTube video on swimming. You would go swimming, right? Um, you would practice it in a deliberate manner. I'm thinking about this one here, um, but I really don't like this current action here. So I'm actually just going to pass on it a minute. I want to see like a better bar pairing the price of Bitcoin uh, a bit higher up as don't think that's great right now. Um, uh, would have been a good trade. Okay, let's see. That was quite a nice trigger bar in here. So you see the tightness. You see the tightness. You see the volume dry up. I missed one here. That's a really good trigger bar. That's a nice check out the Monto. Look at the volume dried up. Things to be uh, things to be noticing, right? It's okay. Good uptrend. Very volatile. Don't like that. So do you see how often volatility is the precursor of a pullback? Certainly when you've had an uptrend like this, and then you get the spike in the volume. 
see that? So large volatility pops in volume is I would associate it with distribution, the opposite of what I would want to see in terms of those big wild bars like that. So I missed a couple trades back there because I wasn't focused enough. Okay, good uptrend, 52 week highs versus the S&P. Can it pull back in and start tightening? I'm not going to get FOMO and just chase it. I'm just going to wait for my setup. Uh, it's kind of getting there, decent base. Nice shake out to Martel off the 50, tight bar, low volume. There, there, that's kind of okay. Little cup and handle. Uh, does it go through the high? Yep, yeah. so we're filled on that bar there. So we get knocked out, that would be a breakout, a loss, uh, 6%. ADR is a bit quicker now of 8.8%, uh, so 6% loss. So we go one, we go Bitcoin, we go six like this, and we go 0 0.94. And then we update this one to 33 like that. Okay. <clears throat> Let's keep going. Maybe we get a nice shakeout. Oh, that's nice. Nice bounce off the 50. Shakeout to Martel. Like it. Good ADR. Nearly 9%. I'd be targeting that. See if it wants to go or if we're going to get knocked out. A little bit of patience with it. More patience. Uh, yeah. A little bit frustrating. That's going to be a bigger one. 11% loss. Uh, that there is going to be, for me, it's more of a pullback buy. So one BTC, 11% loss. Uh, 0 0.89 for the 11% loss and then we update this one here like that okay um, yeah. haven't been trading that well over the last uh, few trades okay that's what it is I missed a couple of good ones back in that base um, yeah I missed a couple of good ones in that base okay but that's the thing you can then go back and go oh why did I miss that and then do your best not to miss those type of setups in the um, in the future right this is starting to tighten uh, I'd be looking at this as kind of a quasi cup and handle forming here. Good bar, good bar, good volume. Shake out demand tail. Pretty tight in there. The volume stair step down, opens on the low, pushes up. 9% ADR, like it. I'd probably be targeting that. There, there we go. Okay, good. Gets out, 52 week high, like it. So we free roll it on that bar there. Now we're just using the black and the blue line pretty much. Okay, so looking for a close below the black line. Nice shake out to Martel off the 21. Could I target that? What's the stop loss? Going to be too wide. I don't want a 13% stop loss. Just not going to do it. That's a little bit better. Shake out to Martel. I'd be targeting that there. Can it go through the high? Good. Can we free roll it? Yes. Good. So see the tightness. Shake out to Martel. Low volume. 52 week highs. Like it. Okay. For me, that's a change of character bar. Um, for this more recent position, I would take off one third there. I don't like that bar. I'd take off a third there. Don't like it. So this one here, and then we're going to be exiting this one, this position here in entirety. So let's just do this first one here. So initial stop loss is say close to 4%, so 6% roughly to free roll. So 6% and then 52, 52. So 6, 52, 52. And that's more how like trading is. Like nothing, 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 big winner comes along. Nothing, 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 big winner comes up. Certainly more so for how I trade. That's a um, breakout. So we go over here, we go one BTC, 36.67. Most, a lot of people I'd say their psychology just can't, can't handle that. Um, they just can't trade like that basically. But that's their problem. This one here, okay, so we can now remove that one there. This one here, it's not going to be a very big winner, but a slight winning trade. So our initial stop is 5%, so we're free rolling it. So we've got 10%, 4%, and then we're knocked at 6% uh, at the low there. So 10, 4, minus 6, it's going to be a small a small winner. 10, 6, and then what do we say? Minus 5, was it? Let me just double check that I got that right. Minus 6, uh, 10, 4, minus 6. 10, 4, Minus six like that. Okay, um, I would say no. It's a breakout trade. Okay, just a small, small winner there. Nothing to be really shouting um, home about. So one dot zero two. Then we just update this like this, like that. Okay, we'll keep going. Look for some other trades. Maybe it can kind of reset along its twenty one day EMA. Nice shake out to Manto. Um, hmm. No. Okay. Kind of wedging up there didn't really see anything in in that base no, bounce off the 21 quite like that bounce off the 21 back to back shake out to Manto is kind of testing that level goes out on the high i'd target that there can we free roll good we can free roll so i like these shake out to Manto is around 21 day emas let's change that back to blue so good we're able to free roll it and then black and blue line basically just trying to ride the black and the blue line that there would be 
first exit, second exit. So the initial stop loss was 6%, so we're selling at 12%, so we've got 12, uh, 14, and 10. So we go here and we go 12, we go 14, and we go 10 like that. So 12%, and that's, that's gonna be more of a pullback buy for me instead of a breakout buy, BTC, 12%. Then we just go and update it here, 1.12. And then we update this as well. Okay, so close that down like that. Maybe we get something around the 50. Okay, good bounce off of the uh, 50. There's a lot of 52 week highs versus the S&P 500 on my RS line. So actually indicators, here it is, Jack will sell us RS line. And uh, yeah, like it. 52 week highs are good outperformance. Okay, good uptrend here. See if we get something around the 21 or the 50. Okay. No kind of inside bar there. There, there. Good ADR, 14%. I'm, I'm just not going to go in with a 13% initial stop loss. I'm just not going to do it, basically. Nice inside bar for the 50, though. So, but do like those kind of setups, but just not kind of uh, right there. Yeah, there, there. Shake out the Monte. What's the stop loss? 10% off an ADR of 14%. Yeah, I'd probably go for that. Uh, and we get knocked out day one. Okay, fine. Don't try our capital up. Uh, that's a pullback buy. 10% loss. Bitcoin, 10%. So we go down here, 0 0.9. And then we just go and update this one here. 38 like that. Okay. So again, just not tying our capital up. Get stopped out quickly. Fine by me. Okay, below the 50, no interest in it. No interest in it. No interest in it. No interest. No interest. Below the 200. No interest, we'll avoid all of this. There's no point playing in it. Yeah, so again, just simple rule, just not trading below the 200. We're just avoiding, we're just avoiding all of that. We don't, we don't need to trade in it, okay? Just avoid it. Get back above the 200, do it convincingly. Okay, good. Now we start to see a change of character, right? So we start to see tightness and price down here, good. But then look at this. Look at the volume. Look at the positive price appreciation. It's good. Now we want to see... Flags, wedges, pennants, Darvis boxes, whatever you want to call it. Those kind of setups. Okay, tightening around the 21, but look at this bar here. Don't like it. Not a fan of it. That's fine. Sometimes you won't like the action, so you don't take the setup and it goes. So again, this will, we were talking about hanging on to losing trades unnecessarily, but also like just realizing like here for me from this video, I'm like, I could have been, I could have quite easily targeted there, put my stop loss there. And then I would have had this nice, nice trend. It would look really good on the video. But again, it then just, it then just trains you this bar by bar, just avoid FOMO. Okay. It didn't set up. I know, well, it did kind of set up, but I, I didn't like that bar. So that's why I did. That's why I didn't take the trade and just own your decisions to just go, okay, if it then goes higher, that's absolutely fine. But it didn't set up how I wanted it to set up. It's fine. No FOMO. Uh, this now looking a little bit more interesting. Uh, kind of inside bar volume dries up yeah i'd be targeting that there like that um see if it can move through okay good i think it kind of opened there went down and then moved higher let's see um how it went so yeah you see here so it didn't trigger so this is our level so it didn't trigger didn't trigger didn't trigger didn't trigger and then poof, a lot of buying i don't know why i keep doing that sound effect then a lot of buying so we're still in the position uh, which is good so we're in and we free roll it as well let's see if this can now trend higher we've got 52 week high my rs line seems to be taking a little bit of a a little bit of a break. Don't know why it does that sometimes when you uh, cancel that. Uh, uh, for me, I would I would exit the position there. That's a change of character. I'd just exit the position. So two and a half percent initial stop. So we're free rolling it at five percent. So we've got five one one for the other parts. Five one one. I like that. It's going to be a breakout trade. So we go one. We go BTC and nothing to shout home about. Two dot three three percent. So one dot zero two like that. And then we just go and update this one to nine like that. Okay, um, that's what it is. See if it resets. Yeah, you see how it was like, that bar there was like the precursor for that. Just wasn't acting right. Popping the volume, just didn't like it. Something, something was a little bit off there. So let's keep going. Maybe it forms a little low pivot or something like that. Mm, okay, nice uptrend. Could shake out the mantel. Maybe I could have targeted that. See that shake out the mantel underneath the 21. Maybe something around the 50. No, it's just not. It's not quite looking right to me right now. Hmm. Below the 50. 
I want to see like a really bullish bar. See how it was all a little bit lackadaisical. There wasn't anything that was like, yeah, demands back in control. Uh, below the 200, no interest, no interest, no interest. Okay, back above the 200. Can we now get something? It's still a little bit volatile in the space. No, no interest, no interest, no interest. Want to see it back above the 200. Okay, good. Okay. You see how it's kind of, you get these bars here and these bars, like it just doesn't, and this bar here, it just does, doesn't look quite right uh, yet. A bit of demand coming in. Okay. Yeah, still just kind of chopping around. Okay, starting to tighten. A bit choppy base. Some nice shakeout demand tails around the 50. That's another nice shakeout demand tail. Mm. This, I'm looking at this bar here, and then I'm thinking, okay, it's kind of counteracted by that bar there, and it's just pulling back down quite nicely. Would I be targeting it there? ADR, 4.5%. Let's see what the initial stop would be. Yeah, 3%. percent i would probably target that, see if it can power back up through those moving averages. We get filled there, we're probably going to get stopped. Yeah, just let's see, okay, quickly. Um, but that's one there where, so I'll, I'll put the loss in, then I'll come back to it and talk about kind of, I don't necessarily just free roll off the initial stop loss, I'll move it up um, when I think it's prudent. That bar there would have been prudent, right? So that's a pullback buy, 3% loss. One BTC, 3% loss, 0 0.97 come back up here come here 40 like that um, so pretty pleased that we kept the average loss for Bitcoin around five and a half percent pretty pretty pleased with that actually seeing it's a pretty pretty volatile asset right but here is what I was talking about there is okay my initial stop loss is here so my free roll targets here but on on this bar here it stocks now Bitcoin is now moving out so why wouldn't I just move move it to the lower the bar so look and then adjust my stop loss from here Okay, I move it from, let me make this line red for you. So I move the stop loss from here to here, okay, as indicated by this little blue arrow, move it from here to here, then I can free roll and I can take off one third right there. And I free roll. So instead of coming out the other side with a 3% loss, I just come out the other side break even. I'd rather come out the other side break even than with a 3% loss. Make sense? So again, I won't always just free roll off. That's my initial stop loss. It's set in stone. No, I'll just, as Bruce Lee, as Bruce Lee said, be like water, my friend. So I'll just adapt. Again, work through the process of, okay, identify, control, mitigate, and optimize. That was really good volume coming through. Great candle set. Can it now go and build a nice flag or something? 21 day EMA. Shake out demand tail, but I don't like the prior bar. Back to back shake out demand tails. Mm, looks like it's kind of building a flag. Darvis box. ADR, 5.5%. There, there, 5%. Mm, I'll be thinking about that. I'll be thinking about that. Hmm. I'd probably target that goes out on the high let's see if it can go uh we're gonna get stopped or not yeah we get stopped okay like uh but again similar right that i could have just as it starts going up here i just move my stop loss up right uh five percent that's going to be a breakout so put that in as a loss one bitcoin five percent scroll down here uh, 0 0.95 and then we just go and update this one here so like here what i do in my own trading is right here. What I do is I get, okay, this bar here is now starting to power out. So why would I keep my stop loss down here? Why would I not just move my stop loss up like this? See, I move it up, say underneath the 10 day EMA, I take off one third of the position, free roll it. So then here I get stopped out break even as opposed to being stopped out at 4%, 5%, make sense? So as the trade starts playing out and developing, then I develop, okay? I change, I adapt in terms of what I'm doing, what I think is most, uh, most prudent to be doing. Okay, change character through the 50, don't like that. Um, pretty bearish bar coming through there. It's now getting, yeah, I was thinking like it's now potentially like cup and handle type, but that's not too good. We'll see. Okay, good demand coming in, 52 week highs. We like that. Can it now set around, say, the 10 or something like that? The 10, 21. Good ADR. Note that ADR, 5.5%, like that. Okay, this is starting to tighten quite nicely. Okay, nice shake out to Martel underneath the 21. I'd be targeting that there. I wouldn't put my stop there. I'd put my stop right there. That doesn't move through the high of the bar. So I just cancel the order there. I want to see it move through the high. Mm. Quite a nice reversal bar there. Shake out to Martel. Good reversal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does it on low volume? I'd probably target that. Okay, good. We're able to free roll it. 
Right there, good volume, 52 week highs, black and the blue line now. Potentially spots to add as well. They kind of pull in and set. Um, okay, first I take off one third there, clear close below the 10. Could bounce off the 21. Pulling into the 21 again. Shake out the Montel around the 21. Hmm. There, there. I don't know. It needs to be a little bit of a better shake out to Montel, I feel. Just went, can't feel that. Oh, that's going to be the exit right there. Clear change of character, right? So that final bar there is the exit. So our initial stop is uh, 5%, so 10% free roll. And then we got 10, 79, 62. So 10, 79, 62. <clears throat> that's going to be that's more of a breakout trade. Let's go over here, Bitcoin, duh, 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 and then 50.33. So it was kind of like nothing, nothing, nothing. Big winner comes along, right? So remember what I was saying about the 80-20 principle, that a lot of it is nothing, nothing, nothing. Big winner comes along. Um, certainly for how I trade. Again, I'm an intermediate term trend follower. So I'm trying to ride these intermediate term trends. And I find the 10 and 21 day moving averages are useful for doing that. And then looking for change character bars. Maybe something sets around the uh, 50. Okay, it kind of bounced, but I didn't I didn't really see an entry for, for me, what I'd be looking to target, which is fine. Uh, now it's starting to get pretty darn tight, out there, tight, tight, yeah, a little low pivot, I target that. Okay, good, in it, free rolled it, good. Black and blue line, change character, volume pops, I'll take a third off there. Okay, shake out demand tail. Change character through the 21. That's a trade for me. So 4% initial stop. So we've got 8% to free roll. 8, 13, 9. So we go over here and we go 8, 13, and 9 like that. So 10%. Uh, that's going to be, it's kind of like a low pivot breakout. So I put it in here. Bitcoin there. Uh, 10. Uh, we've lost our percentages. Let's turn these into percent. So we've got 50 and then 10. So let's go here and let's go 50 and 10 like that. Scroll down. 1.1 1 .1, and then we go and update this one here uh, 43 okay let's keep going so if we get something nice bounce off the 50 maybe it can kind of set it's not bad bar looking at this here kind of one contraction two contraction three contraction pretty tight bar the volume is drying up quite nicely yeah tight bar 21 i'd probably target that maybe i'm forcing it i'm getting a little bit kind of tired and that's, yeah, it wasn't a great bar behind. 4% loss. I feel like I felt that one. Sometimes you'll get like a little kind of like gut instinct where you're like, it doesn't feel quite right. Um, I should probably listen to that a little bit, uh, a little bit more to be honest with you. So let's remove those. See if we get something. Okay, don't like that bar through the 50. Look like a bit of a change of character. See, I don't know if you guys spotted that as well. See that? Did it kind of like stand out to you that mm, change of character? Didn't look quite right, did it? So it's kind of then the precursor for all of this. So you want to be on the lookout for positive change of characters and obviously negative change of characters as um as well. So now I'd be thinking I want to see a positive um change of character. See that change of character bar there? Did you spot it? There? So anything thereafter, I'm gonna be very, very cautious of, very wary of until you see action like that where it's like really powerful nice like really solid uptrend okay okay looking for something around the 21 there we go nice tight little bar little shake out demand tail like it i'd be there there like that target it through the high there good we threw all it that was a much better trade i was just my whole kind of thought process going into that it was just better felt it yeah look good knew it instantly like that good trade take it don't over don't overthink it look at the pre-rally so look at the pre-rally look at the spouts of volume or sporadic bouts of volume coming in held around yeah just that's a good trade that's a really good trade okay um don't really like how it's pulling back down there Ooh, we'll give it a bar for me, I would definitely take off a third there. So we free rolled it here. I don't like that change character through the 10. I'd take off a third there. It's not breaking. See how you're starting to spot the change character. It's a little bit in there, there. So, okay. So what we had there, our initial stop was 2.5%. So we're free rolling at 5%. So we've got 5, 3, and then minus 3. So 
phi 3 and then minus 3. That gives us an average gain of 1.67%. Yeah, it's kind of like a low pivot. Again, nothing to be shouting home about. Um, yeah, so that's fine. 1.1, uh, and then we just go and update uh, this to here, like this. 45, like that's so how many trades have we done? We've done 32 trades so far. Again, really pleased, the thing I'm most pleased about is this average loss, like keeping the average loss really in check. Five and a half percent for, for Bitcoin, I think is, um, I think is, uh, I think is pretty, pretty good going actually. So we'll play this one forward. See if we get something around the 50 day. Check out the Montel around the 50 day. But I don't really like the bar before and the pop in the volume. Feels a bit forced to me, I'll pass on it, yeah. Just didn't like the bar before, not overly constructive. Okay, below the 50, no interest, no interest, no interest. Yeah, just nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, we just, and again, we just, I'll zoom it out in a second. Look what we're avoiding. We're avoiding all of this, just misery, pain, okay? There's specific times you want to be involved in leading financial instruments, whether it's cryptocurrencies, whether it's stocks. Now, this is better. Look at the demand coming through. That's, that's a lot better. Okay, coming through in there. Can we now get a flag? Something like that form. Around the 21 would be quite nice. Nah, see that bearish break of the 21? Don't like it. That nah, bullish reclaim of the 21. It's here, it's there. A bit erratic. Can't quite make its mind up. Nah, through the 50 decisively as well. Now it's back above. It's a little bit all over the place here, Bitcoin. Okay something around that's quite a nice tight bar so what i like here is look at the pre-base rally look at the volume look at the 52 week highs like that some shake out demand tail some tightness i'd be targeting it there there like that uh gets tight but i don't know bar doesn't look quite right to me tight bar yeah play volume i'd be targeting it there and there can it move through the height yeah can move through the height uh, let's just make sure we wouldn't have been stopped so again we're targeting it through the high here so it moves it triggers here and then doesn't go below so yes it kind of ebbs and flows some shake out tomato and then it goes so we'd still be in the position are we going to lose all our volume no the volume stayed this time okay that's fine okay so it's getting out so we're able to then free roll the trade right there this is more of like a flag darvis box pattern look how the volume dried up look how what followed contraction was expansion at tony corbell point okay contraction is followed by expansion and vice versa change character bar there don't like it take off a third opens on the high goes out on the low volume pops do not like it we take off a third there i would exit the trade right there change character bar don't like it uh, so the initial stop really tight like 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 that one percent initial stop so free rolling at two percent so we've got two we've got four and then two so two four two like that not 42 two four two like that for me that'd be a breakout trade so we go one we go btc and we go 2.67 and then if we come down here we go 1.02 like that to update the spreadsheet but hopefully you can kind of see here we've done uh, we've done a fair few trades now how many trades have we done for bitcoin we've done um 33 trades for bitcoin i think i've messed this up um here somehow um yeah we've messed this spreadsheet up here somehow i, I think our total return figure will be um will be correct uh hopefully i'm sure someone will let me know in the comments if, it, if it's wrong but in the space of 33 trades you can kind of see how the 80 20 principle is playing out right if you look at the winning trades here you can clearly see that the vast majority of profits are going to come from 20 percent of the trades and actually you can then apply the 80 20 principle on the 80 20 results that you've just had so of the 20 percent of trades that led to 80 percent of your profits go and apply the 80 20 principle to those 20 percent of trades that led to the 80 percent profits and you'll see that wow okay out of those 20 percent that were the big winning trades out of the overall sample set wow 80 percent of the profits and then coming from 20% of those trades. That's just how it basically works. That is the laws of the universe, the laws of trading, as I have uh, as I found. So here we go. We'll play it forward a little bit more. Can we bounce off the 50? We can bounce off the 50. Can we maybe get an entry around the 50? Uh, no, below the 50. No interest, no interest, no interest. Get back above it. Okay, can you build a flag or something like that? Bitcoin, around the 21. Oh, okay, tight around the 21. Like that. Yeah, so I'm thinking about this here, it'd be tight. There's this supply shoot out on the low and then it holds the 50. What would my stop be? 1%, I'll round it up to 2%. It's a pretty tight risk control. Uh, did it go there through the high? It did go through the high. Are we then stopped out? Let's go down to the one hour chart, that'll tell us. Um, so our entry is here. We're not stopped out yet. We're still just in the trade and then we're stopped out there. Um, did we get stopped out before we free rolled it? Let's take a look. 
uh, yeah, we would have got stopped out right there. So losing trade, two uh, percent loss on um, Bitcoin. I think that was. Let me just zoom in. It was two percent. I remember. Two uh, percent loss. So we go here. We go one. We go BTC, and we go two percent. Zoom over here like this, and we go zero dot nine eight to input uh, input that one there. Hopefully, this has been um, doing it right. Again, your brain kind of goes a million miles an hour when you're doing these um, these kind of videos. Okay, don't really like that bar there, and then it's moving to the downside. Uh, want to see a bit of demand like pop back up through and then tighten would be good. So looking for that what I call a bullish synchronicity bar. It's going to pop back up through. Nothing, nothing, nothing below. below the, okay, this is better, right? Look at the demand coming in. This is now where I'm really, really interested. Whether this be a stock on a back of the earnings reaction or something like that. But you see this volume, you see this 52 car. It's telling me the bigger boys and girls, they're interested. So now can it tighten up? There's maybe an entry to be had there. Okay, 21, bounce. Nice. 21, playing some games. And I think there we go. We're at a we're at present um present date. So I'll um I'll wrap the video up there up guys. I think that's uh I think that hopefully illustrates the point. What do we do? We did thirty we did thirty four trades again, proverbial grand into one thousand four hundred uh one thousand uh nearly nearly one thousand Sorry, my brain is absolutely fried now. 145,000. I told you, these sessions really, really take it out of you. You're trying to concentrate for a long period of time. You're taking in a lot of data. That's 145 grand. Okay, not not kind of bad there. What I'm quite pleased about here is the average loss, maintaining it around about 5.5% on Bitcoin, which is very volatile in uh, nature. Win rate around about 50%. That's good. Average gain, good. 39%. You can see how the 80-20 principle is uh, applicable there. But hopefully that video kind of illustrates the point of, okay, how do you go about identifying a high quality setup? How do you control the arrest? Keep it favorable in terms of creating asymmetric risk reversal trades thinking about the initial stop loss versus say the 20 day average daily range percentage as well i showed you how to how to find that in terms of the in terms of the indicators how to go about mitigating the risk and then selling rules selling guidelines for getting those big trades right those ones that really move the needle okay intermediate term selling rules for how do you get those big ones right right on the 10 right on the 21 potentially the 50 if it is more if it is more print but i really hope you guys have uh, have enjoyed that have enjoyed that video if you want to learn a little bit more then head over to my website there's loads of free videos on the uh, on the channel I look forward to seeing you in a future video.